everybody, what a wheeze and we are back. As I said last time, I don't know that this path will be as appreciated or as impressive as it was back in the SSA and Giants days. Uh, swap for an earlier, if you will. But uh, this was a fantastic path. It was an overlooked path. And for good reason. I mean, for most people, the melee path, the top path, your aggressive heavy hitter. Ooh, look at those numbers path. Plus, once again, armor used to be really important. And uh, that last upgrade you see highlighted there. Plus 40 armor. And then in Giants, his Series 2 pose. Uh, we actually had him geared out in that said armor suit, which would deter people from taking Glacier Yeti because, hey, it doesn't match the figure, right? Uh, so what we're going to do here for Elite Slam Bam up first, we're actually going to take Glacier Yeti. And again, I cannot tell you how great of a path this is. Again, same thing applies for Chill with some of her, uh, you know, lesser ventured paths, if you will. But uh, further develop Slam Bam's Ice Prison Attack. That's what we're going to do here. Can't really showcase it super well, but we'll make the most of it. Uh, right here, we have got Deep Chill Ice Coffin. Ice Prison's damage enemies trapped inside them. So now where we used to just deploy one and it would hold them frozen for 8 seconds, they'll actually start taking damage. Let's pick that up. Okay. Alright, we will... Uh, no, 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 no. Let's do it, you know, one at a time. We got plenty of time here, just doing three things we're familiar with. So we're gonna head up here. I wish there was like a quicker way for some of the characters like Slam Bam to just point A to point B without having to do this, you know. Hey, Going from up here to down there you works fine, but uh, you know. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. 38, 38, 38. So six, and then when it exploded, it did decent damage. So uh, let's see here. Deep Chill Ice Coffin, going to be 38. 57 would be the critical. And let's see how many instances we get. So six with the explosion, and you did see one critical of 57 there. 38 to 57 six times. That's basically the full life cycle of uh, the coffin at this point in time. And then the explosion damage. Am I seeing like a 188 or something? And it might be a crit is what's throwing me off. Oh, hey, back to back. Wow. Four out of six were criticals. That rarely happens. Yeah, and then I think that 188 is a critical. So, as we learned last time, <laughs> that would be 94. Doesn't that have the exclamation mark after it? Don't pause the video and tell me because I can't do that in real time. I think it does. So, uh, 38 to 57, six times. Get the cursor out of my way. And then... Explosion is going to be 188, and then if that's the critical, though, okay, so 94. Uh, 188, half of that would be 94, so we would then have to deduce from that 47. Uh, so 141, yeah, I'll deal with it later. Uh, I'm not in the mood to do math, and I still really can't tell for sure. <laughs> Let me get three of them going at once. Are you sir? Alright, it should be detonating. 125. Let's see. I think that, yeah, okay, okay. So, 125 to 188. That'll work. Problem solves. <laughs> uh, so, let's make sure that would be right. Half of 125, 62, 5, 63, 125, and 63, 188. Still not in the mood to do math, but hey, it adds up. What can I say? Uh, let's rib it down this direction. Okay, Buzz. Uh, true story, I finally played Battlecast. I couldn't do anything with really bad storms last night, and I uh, couldn't record Stardew Valley. I was kind of bummed because it's going to be Abigail's birthday. I picked to do this now. Uh, in part because I played Battlecast and I really liked it. I thought I would, but uh, recording off the iPad is just it's not a pleasant experience. Especially in a game where you need to hear the person telling you what to do. 
Uh, so maybe I'll record it from my phone at some point, but I'm, I'm not big on mobile gaming, especially not on a phone. <laughs> that's just my style. Old school, I know, but that's, that's the way I am. So, uh, that said, it was a lot of fun. Glacier Tactics, and I should be getting free stuff here in a little bit. Uh, not something someone's sending out, but from, you know, like your daily free spins or whatever. Uh, ice prisons travel faster and farther, so hopefully you paid attention to how they were traveling, because... Uh, the big thing here, the fast actually is a big deal uh, because it's the difference between life or death sometimes. But check this out. You know, used to it would kind of like travel a bit and then get there. And now that you're thinking, whoa, 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 that's like, he's like barely reaching out and it goes maybe double the distance. Well, watch this. I'm going to stand here and hope that this is pointed correctly. If I hold B instead of tap it... Uh huh. <laughs> That's the max distance it times itself out. But literally, we shot that prison behind the dummy. Uh, 38 to 57, and then I guess the 125 there. So, see, I tapped B, and now watch this. I'm going to shoot one through. Cool. So that 188 is fairly fairly frequent for a crit. But uh, yeah, that is that. We don't really need to showcase that with the Greebles. It's more than... You're extremely once again. Yeah. So happy to Stupid Persephone. Even in this She's a lot like Leah in Stardew Valley, I think. You don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know why more people aren't watching Stardew Valley. It's fantastic. Fantastic game. I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, if you like my Skylanders videos, I think you should give Stardew Valley a try. Click in somewhere, episode 44, 62, you know, just, just have some fun with it. Uh, everyone that I tell to watch it that actually does watch it comes back and says, holy crud, you were right, I love this game, <laughs> you know, is it on PlayStation 4? And I'm like, well, it's coming soon, but, uh, yeah, anyway, Work of Ice Art, it is our final upgrade for Glacier Yeti. This is very cool, too, I always thought it was really neat, but, uh, 2400 is the price with our discount. Ice prisons last longer and are more resistant to attacks. What does that mean? You're like, what are they attacks? Who's who's attacking them? It's a situation where in the past, uh, you know, maybe the base upgrades you saw it, you kind of got attacked by the Greeble. Like if I have this here, you know, an ice prison, uh, a Greeble buddy that's not frozen can hit that and kind of free the other one. You know, of course, there's consequences now, but hey, uh, that is the case. So check this out. Oh, hey. Oh, awesome. I don't bet that's supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll ever get it up there again, will we? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I love little things like that. Uh, so let's get up here and kind of showcase this thing. Da -da 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 -da. Welcome back to yeah, the yeah, yeah, circle, yeah. Skylander. Mm -hmm. You ready to do some serious training? <laughs> hoo -ha! So that's about nine seconds now. I'm gonna go ahead and call it ten seconds now. So uh, if we come in here, no, in here, it's a Nintendo good. button. <laughs> Yoink! All right, ice prisons last longer, more resistant to attack. So I'm gonna say ten seconds, give or take. So what we'll do now is I'm going to just tap B and watch this. I'm going to stand here and try to get this guy to hit me and the ice prison. See how he shattered it a little beforehand? Not a great example, but... Alright, this guy's frozen. See, his buddy hit the mallet and got him out of there. Now, see, it's a situation where they've got to sort of chip away at it. Oh, I thought you'd hit that, you loser. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, it, it's a it's a pretty cool deal, I have to say. But uh, we got one more thing yet to do, and that is, of course, the Soul Gym. I think it ties in pretty well with this path, actually. Are you ready for a new magical upgrade? So to complete Glacier Yeti, and to complete Slam Bam in general, we have the Yeti Cooling Factor, which again, uh, when you saw me showcase and unbox Eon's Elite Slam Bam, this is sort of what I was raving about. And, uh... <laughs> He basically, the snowboard, and it it's kind of a sled sort of a deal back in the day. Uh, but he also got the goggles, and that's literally all it is. But he has increased coolness, which is basically the goggles, and can surf faster. 
And if you're like, surf, what do they mean? Again, that's what I'm talking about. Used to, this was very, very important uh, part of the game. But here we go. If I just tap Y, we're dashing along pretty good. If I hold it, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So let's see how long we can go. About five seconds. And the biggest advantage here for Slam Bam is really just that he's kind of a slower, more methodical character. And so this really does uh, help him out, in my opinion. Now, does it do damage? What do you think? The answer is no. But you can troll people pretty good with it. <laughs> it never gets old. Oh, yeah. And you get a feel for how powerful Slam Bam is, particularly in his elite form. So this is Yeti Cooling Factor. This is Glacier Yeti. Again, this is something, you it's still very useful and practical today, but back in SSA and Giants, this was a phenomenal path. And a lot of people, again, just completely oblivious to it because they're like, ooh, Blizzard Brawler, you know, we're gonna gonna mainly punch with him anyway, right? So we should do that. And it was just sort of a not taken path. And I strongly encourage you to explore it, uh, particularly if you've got Elite Slam Bam here. This is a great chance to do so. Switch paths freely back and forth as you please. But uh, go back to the early games and play Glacier Yeti and take advantage of the Soul Gym. It's a very, very fun time. And it's in part why I'm so fond of Slam Bam and why he was my nephew's favorite. So uh, like I said, if you play him for the first time here in Superchargers, you're probably like, man, you know, I thought there was all this hype about this guy. What's wrong with these people? That's because we played him in SSA and Giants, and it's a total different ball game back then. But so, that said, this is Slam Bam, fully upgraded down Glacier Yeti. We're going to come back and take him down Blizzard Brawler. You'll get to see uh, what he does uh, numbers-wise with his punches, and you'll get to check out his sweet, swanky armor like you saw in his Series 2 pulls for Giants. So, you definitely want to see that. Wannaweezum.com skylanderclub.com check out the forum follow me on twitch and twitter i will catch you back here for more skylanders research